Okay, my friends, let's talk about, well, what about for the rest of the world and your family and people around you that haven't been diagnosed with some kind of gastro problem with gluten. So it is controversial. And I would encourage you to take a look at the resources and things that people talk about online. But I also would like you to please remember that it's very controversial. And I don't understand why. I guess it's simply because anything medical, anything that also has been attributed to a fad, which is ridiculous, in my opinion. Um, going gluten-free is not a fad. Um, it is something to take, be taken seriously. And there are people who might not necessarily have to go gluten-free and maybe make a bigger deal out of it than they need to. And at the same time, I don't blame them because in this world of trying to feel better, looking for the things that make our lives better and our health even more amazing, then why not look at gluten also? Because it is affecting a lot of people. So I'm gonna refer you to my teaching video, which is at theglutenqueengut.com. So theglutenqueen.com, and I have a video on there about my whole, whole outtake on gluten and becoming the gluten queen and what it's all involved. What, all, what, what does it take? So I would like you to refer to that because in there, the National Institutes of Health talk about how gluten actually, especially for people with audio, autoimmune diseases other than celiac disease, can actually... Um, gluten can, is actually attributed to irritable bowel syndrome, Crohn's disease, and diverticulitis. I mean, those, that's where those are really huge things to have and to be diagnosed with and to eventually be diagnosed with. And if you can avoid it, wouldn't it be, wouldn't it be smart? Think about it. I mean, just if it's something that really could possibly affect you in the future and you are concerned about your health, do it. So, all right, so the, the core question is what will it really hurt? Okay, it's inconvenient at the beginning. You have to learn about other grains. You have to learn about other countries who don't eat gluten, or at least it's not a staple part of their diet. Look, the East, the Far East, they eat predominantly rice and vegetables like starches like um, like potatoes and things like that, right? And I'm totally overgeneralizing, I know that. But think about it, now Africa, they have other grains that we've never even heard of that you can definitely try. Um, there's one tough that I myself haven't tried yet, but so there are tons of, of options other than wheat. So it really frustrates, frustrates me when I hear that, I, I, I've even seen experts online say, oh, you cannot um, take gluten out of your diet unless you know you want to have health consequences. Okay, look at me. I've been off gluten for five years, and I am really healthy. Um, my blood work has been normal ever since. I have been working diligently on making sure my nutrition is balanced in general, and it's not as hard as you think. So what will it really hurt? Nothing. If you take care of every other part of your diet, which you should be doing anyway, whether you eat gluten or not, okay? Lastly, please talk to your physicians or other healthcare providers, your registered dietitian. By the way, I personally, when I talked to a registered dietitian when I was first diagnosed, did not help. And God bless all the registered dietitians. I probably just didn't have a good one. But for me personally, I needed to go out for myself and learn what I needed to know in order to change everything that I eat. Where is gluten and why do I need to be rid of it? I mean, with celiac disease, it was immediately apparent to me when I saw the pictures of my intestines. You know, normal intestine, celiac intestine, very different and the absorbability of nutrients is totally different. <clears throat> Excuse me. So I would like to know what your thoughts or experiences are with having other people around you just go gluten-free to support you. Um, when I have people 
come visit me who don't necessarily have intestinal issues with gluten, I still feed them gluten-free because there's nothing wrong, nothing harmful to eating gluten-free, okay? So there, there's my answer to your question. What about the rest of the world? They'll be fine, it's okay. And if they still wanna eat gluten, that's their choice, but to have also other people around you eat gluten-free is totally fine, I promise. So reach out, reply to this email. If it's an email that you received this video in, or if you see me on YouTube, click in the comments below and type me a question and I'd be happy to answer, okay? Have an awesome day.